在都在紧张雕刻哈。呃，您能不能带着我们先看一下？ So all the sculptors are still trying to finish their work. Could you explain to us the rules of the ice assemblage championship and why do we call it ice assemblage? Ice assemblage is different from simple ice sculpture. Uh, it has a story, location with characters. Well, a single ice sculpture can present you a single image. Okay, this is a team from Moscow. This year, they will show us some World Cup scenes of football playing. And they will demonstrate the spirit of the Russian nation. Uh, so we employ three dimensions. I'm not sure if I've got you right. So for this ice sculpture, it's just different from the traditional ice sculpture that focuses on one single ice block. And it has several ice blocks. According to our rules, we provide every team with 10 ice blocks. So actually, this sculpture is made up by 10 ice blocks. They were stick together. Usually, it should be no taller than three meters and no wider than five meters. So for lens, it should be no more than five meters, right? Yes. And for weed, three meters. Okay, let's come to this side. Can you brief us on? The story of this sculpture. Okay, this is the goalkeeper at a football field. It's kind of abstract, but the goalkeeper is uh, has his mouth uh, wide open, and the goalkeeper also has gloves on his hand. The sculpture shows that the goalkeeper are making every is making every effort to. To keep the the ball out. Okay, this is the sculpture for the Chinese team. So we can see the figures of ancient maidens, uh, ancient maids. They are wielding two ice blocks, and they are trying to put the arm on the maid. Okay, can you explain how you wield two ice blocks together? Are you a member of the Chinese team? Yes. I saw that you are wielding the arm of the maid. Can you explain how it works? We use hot aluminum plates at an appropriate temperature. The two ice blocks could be uh, welded together. Okay, you have already finished the the welding or adhesion of this arm, right? Yes. So I can touch it. This is the upper arm. 
飘带之类的。在那个手臂上、小臂上还有这个吊环儿。呃、uh, ，We know that. Lying abscess, they they have sleeves in their images. And they still need to do more work to、uh, show this detail. Okay, first we warm up the aluminum plate. At a proper temperature, the two ice blocks could be fit together. So you first need to melt the two、uh, surfaces. Yes. And with very small space between the two ice cubes, we can fit them together because the outer environment is very cold. It works very well. Oh, what message do you want to send through your artwork? Our country is enjoying prosperity, but many young people、uh, are unaware of our. Traditional culture, and we need to spread our traditional culture. We carve the ice、uh, with similar skills employed in China's clay sculpture, and we also want to demonstrate our、uh, traditional culture to other countries. Oh, let's see. Next, ah, the last one is a hand sculpture. Okay, in the. Uh, in in the back we can see mountains, and we can see that the team members are are carving this ice with skills employed in plate sculpture. And we also use the reverse sculpture skills to show landscape, such as mountains and rivers. And we want to make this flying aspera lifelike. Well, you mentioned the different sculpture skills. The three-dimensional one, and the reverse sculpture skill. For the reverse sculpture,、uh, you can see a different effect, and we also have relief sculpture. Okay, for reverse. Sculpture. The ice is carved in the back. And since the ice is clean and transparent, we can see the effect from、uh, from the front. And with sunshine, we can also see that. We we can also see refracted sunlight through the eyes. So whether the eyes is transparent and clear is very important to the effect of this sculpture, right? Yes. Yeah. So we will choose the ice blocks before getting our hands on the sculpture. This team member is cutting ice blocks. According to the rules, you need to present an artwork through ten ten blocks of ice. So this is a an ice block of standard ice standard ice size, right? And you only have ten such ice blocks to use. So for height, it's fifty centimeters. 
and for wheat around 60 centimeters and for lands 120 centimeters each year we will uh, carve the artwork according to the size of ice box and you can also make use of the scrap ice from the ice block, right? Yes, that is to make the most of the ice blocks we are provided. And we are making clouds. Can we have a look at the process of how you carve auspicious clouds? Yes. All the participants of this championship are seasoned sculptors. Now let's witness how the team members present you a piece of auspicious cloud within a very short time. So what tools will you use? And what steps? OK, first, you need to make a template on the ice. We have many more than two. Our tools are specially designed. And this tool is designed and manufactured especially for this championship. And uh, the grinders and beads are imported from the US. This tool is used like a painting brush, right? Yes, it is to um, make the reference lines, and this too is to uh, to clean the edges. And this is to melt. This is to melt the surface. And Make it look brighter. Okay, for netizens that have just joined us, so we are at the Harbin Ice and Snow World in Heilongjiang Province. We are at the, the, the scene of the Ace Harbin International Ice Assemblage Sculpture Championship. The championship has been ongoing for several days, and today is the last day. And tomorrow, they will give the final result, result for this championship. So the team members are working on the final details of the sculptures. This is also the best time to have a look at all the sculptures. And we are at the site for the Chinese team. One of our Chinese team members has just carved out uh, a small ice block, and he's trying to present an auspicious cloud. Just now, he has already uh, already carved out the silhouette of this auspicious cloud. Okay, we'll witness the miracle. Just now I introduced a lot of tools. And all the grinders and beads will be used. This is to melt the ice. The temperature could reach 500 degrees. 
So the ice can melt under the effect of these two. Then what effect do we want to have through these two? Uh, we want to make the ice cube more transparent. Okay, let's run a comparison between different parts. This part looks more transparent under the effect of this more than two. And for this part that hasn't been melt, we can see completely different effects. And for some parts that uh, your hands cannot reach, we can use this to to achieve better result. Okay, that's why we can see transparent and clear ice blocks. It can present more beautiful ice sculptures. Okay, what's the name of this? Of this tool, uh, this is a grinder. It's also imported. In this tool is used to refine the edges of the ice. For some places that cannot be refined by chainsaws or chippers, we can use this tool. So. This tool can help us shape better uh, curves. Yes, for for curves and uh, spheres, we can use this tool. And every tool has their own special functions. And we're using chisels here, right? Yeah, it is for rounding. Because an overuse of power tools could um, make the sculpture look too artificial. That's why. We also use uh, some chisels and hand tools to make it look more authentic. Is there a name for this sculpture? The name of this artwork is the Magnificent China. Okay, this piece of work is still under some refining work, and we'll have a look at the big picture. It demonstrates the traditional culture of China. We can see auspicious clouds here. And just now, the team member was actually working on another piece of uh, auspicious cloud that is very similar to this one. We have employed a combination of skills uh, that are used in relief sculpture, clay sculpture, uh, and a plate sculpture. And this is actually a piece of landscape painting in traditional Chinese culture. And we have three, uh, three levels. All the artworks are built by uh, by putting all the ice blocks together, load, piling up them. Well, in the end, we will show you a, a very transparent ice sculpture that looks light. So this is not an easy task, and it's very demanding for the skills of sculptors. 
So there are many red lines. Are those the two marks? Yes. Uh, those are actually the designs or the templates after our discussion. Okay, let's have a look at the details. This looks like the belt of the maid. And the team members are working on the details of this artwork. And just now they have warmed up the aluminum plate and they are fitting together two ice cubes. <laughs> okay, this is the iron that we use in our families. Yes, it can warm up the aluminum plate. So are you continuing to uh, warm up the aluminum plate? Yes. We are very curious about how they uh, complete such a large piece of ice assemblage artwork. Now we can witness the wonder. Actually, the tools they use are very uh, common. This is a family use eye to warm up the aluminum plate. How long do you need? When you feel very hot, it's okay. They put the aluminum plate between the two pieces that are to be fit together. And we can see drips of water that have uh, just uh, fallen from the melting process. Today is actually very cold. According to weather forecast, the temperature is around minus 15, but actually the temperature here could be lower with all the ice blocks around. And this perfectly explains the word that the dripping water freezes instantly. Okay, the fitting process is completed with a natural process. Uh, okay, this team is from Mexico. Mexico and Canada. Uh, so... Let's find out uh, if it's their first time for this championship. OK, it's the second time. They've been here twice. What's the story of their sculpture? I think it looks very abstract. <laughs> okay, the one with pink goggles is from Canada. Well, this member is from Mexico. Their story is about a boy that is born with the shape of a serpent. Well, when he grow up, when he grows up, he uh, became a dragon. And this is actually consistent with the Chinese people's love for dragon. It, it is one of the most uh, cherished uh, stories in their culture. We can see the special characteristics. OK, those are the feathers. <laughs> Where is Mr. Lu? He's heading back. And we also have some international drawers. 
Later, we can find out about their comments on the sculpture championship. Where does this team come from? This is also a Chinese team. We have five Chinese teams today. This is an international ice assemblage uh, sculpture championship. Altogether, we have 16 teams from 12 countries. And many countries work together as one team. Those seasoned sculptors have very good personal relationships. That's how they forge one single team. So for this Chinese team, what are they carving? Sorry, could you explain your artwork to us? So which is uh, the major creator of this sculpture? He's still working on the sculpture. So can you brief us on the major character? Uh, it has a phoenix as a major character. And Ice Town, is it, is it related to the theme of the sculpture? OK, you must come from South China, right? I can tell from your accent. OK, you're from Hunan province. When did you get to know about ice sculpture? When I was at school. Uh, did you finish? college years in northeast China. I think I came to know about ice sculpture when I was a sophomore. Um, I'm, almost, uh, I'm almost a frequent visitor to this sculpture championship. Do you think Harbin is cold? I'm OK with the temperature. On your head, there will be a layer of frost. Usually, how many hours do you spend in uh, in this environment? Usually, eight, nine hours, or even longer. So the championship could be really physically demanding. I can hardly imagine how you come through the eight or nine hours outdoors. And you need to move around all the time so you don't feel cold, right? Yes. But I still admire you since you're from the Hunan province. And you come to Harbin every year for this championship. OK, this sculpture demonstrates a phoenix in, the, in a human figure that has come down to an ice town. The phoenix has a wings and feathers on the wings. So uh, it will be a tough test for the skills of the sculptor. That was the second Chinese team. And we are going to have a look at a very delicate sculpture. Uh, this is about 
the undersea world. Hello. Good to say hi to our netizens. Hello, everyone. Could you uh, briefly tell us about your artwork? Uh, this is about uh, uh, environmental protection and the fishes. Um, they prosper in the marine environment and they sustain the uh, e ecological environment. So this is to call for environmental protection efforts. Uh, what elements are there in your sculpture? We have fishes and coral reef and also uh, some shellfish and sea grass. We have different corals here. There are still more ice blocks to be worked on. This is to uh, to support to support your sculpture on the upper part, right? Look, okay, this is a small fish that has been carved out. Is it to be refined? Yes. Then how will you refine it? Uh, we need to have more delicate carvings um, on the small piece of ice. This is just a, a, a silhouette. <laughs> and could you show us how you refine this small fish? Then we can show our netizens. Uh, the ice is easy to break, so we need to work with caution. Okay, well, uh, the team member is still working on the ice. I uh, will interview an international drawer. Okay, first uh, introduction. This is Johani from Finland. He has very rich experience in this field. He used to be drawers on different kinds of uh, ice sculpture competitions. He has been our drawer many times, and uh, he really looks forward to the uh, artworks of different teams. We know that Mr. Yohani came to Harbin three decades ago for ice sculpture competitions. So could he tell us about the evolution, the changes in our ice sculpture championship? I have been here about 30 years. My first time was 80, 89, oh. and, uh, and a, a couple of times I participate my, uh, participated myself in an uh, ice contest in Chaolin oh. <laughs> Park. That time, that wine time, everything was going on in Chaolin Park. And uh, of course I have... Of, of course, I have seen that the, the huge development uh, 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 concerning the ice sculpting. Of course, the tools have developed, and, and, and people have more and more experience. That's one one reason for development. But of course, new and new ideas. And, and, and uh, I'm not an art historian, but maybe sometimes I could, I would like to write what something about the development of. But this is again a wonderful event and uh, high quality and uh, one of the best in, in the world. Thank you. Uh, that was a recount of the interview from Jura Yohani. 
Mr. Yohani first came to Harbin in 1989 when the contest was held in the park. He thinks that the participants have richer thoughts and ideas, and the competition is being organized better. And we know that ice assemblage is so different from single ice sculpture. Can he talk about some artworks that have impressed him most? Okay, you're working on the eyes of the fish, right? Yes. I have not seen <laughs> yet, yet <laughs> just, <laughs> just walk around. He said he has not yet seen it. They are in the process of preparing. Mr. Yohani hasn't had any chance to see the ice assemblage and, uh, works. It's nice to see also the new kind of ideas, uh, the, like here, this uh, Pollution and global warming <laughs> seems to be very important topics for for mm -hmm. ice sculpting. That's very good because it's it's very very they are very impo important questions. And mm -hmm. I think that Harbin has a very very great future, and uh, like my country, because the southern people uh, along along the global warming, they are more more and more interested in in the snow and ice, and uh, and they are coming and coming to see. We have ice and snow sculpting still have very good future. Uh, it's a recount of the the words that Mr. Yohani just said. Such events are very meaningful because they can demonstrate the significance of environmental protection. And he's also pleased to see many distinct ideas. For example, the inspiration behind this artwork. He's also happy to see new development. Okay, Mr. Yohani. He spoke highly of uh, this piece of artwork that calls for environmental protection. Okay, is the fish ready? Yes. Okay, let's compare the two fish. This is a rough shape of a fish, and this, this is a finished. Marine fish. Okay, this is a silhouette, a rough shape. Well, in several minutes, the artist has uh, presented us with a refined fish, and we can see the details. For example, the the scales and. Uh, 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 and the fins. Okay, we want to take more of your time because you still need to uh, look at the artworks. Okay, just now we mentioned the marine environment protection, and we can see sea plants and the marine animals uh, in this sculpture. This is. Okay, this is coral, and they have really superb skills in carving the ice because this piece of ice is very th thin, as thick as my finger. Then, uh, when you when we use too much force, the ice will break easily. And the final shape of the coral is what we can see in the back, which is exquisitely carved. Carved. 
动力过猛，或者突然出现什么意外的状况，这一块冰就碎掉了。但是我们这个比赛的要求呢，就是要用石块。呃、okay, uh, ，there is some uh accidents. You may easily break the ice, and you will waste the ice block. Later, you will face inadequacy in ice blocks. Yes, altogether, we only have ten ice blocks. If you use too much, then the, uh, the team will violate the requirements uh, of the competition. And the artwork shouldn't exceed all the rules. On um, weeds, length, and uh, thickness. This is an Indian team. Each year they go to different countries for sculpture contests. They fly from much warmer places. In Malaysia, some sculptors. Were actually first uh, cooks. Uh, because they need to make ice carvings for some high end banquets. A Malaysian participant was a cook. This team is from Ukraine and UK. Another abstract piece of sculpture. Here, each team presents their works with cultural connotations. Okay, this team is made up of a couple: one from Ukraine, one from UK. We have many teams from Russia this year. Okay. The team members can also have refreshments outdoors, right? Yeah, we have also uh, set up some facilities where they can have a rest and uh, uh, eat something. Last year, we saw this team. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Uh, what are you carving? Okay, they are making a branch of the tree, which is to be fed onto uh, the tree trunk. This is the branch of the tree. Yes. A typical zebra tree. Okay, these are some branches and small twigs of the tree. Later, they will be fed onto the trunk. Let's have a look at the surface. They want to, uh, they, they want to present us the, the details, and that's how it looks like for the surface of a tree. And uh, there are many lines on the surface. And this looks like a window. Hello. A broken window of a shabby house. Okay, my guess is right. The team is from Russia. They could only speak some simple English, but we can communicate perfectly. Let's advance and have a closer look. Is this another Russian team? 
Where do they come from? Chinese sculptures are really different in terms of style. So we would like to have the complicated ones with uh, some. Connotations and meanings behind. Well, the the foreign teams uh, uh, prefer abstract sculptures. Each team has different techniques. The first Chinese team we visited uh, have flying abstracts and some traditional characters. The foreign teams have abstract characters in their artworks. This team is from Mongolia. They also have ions here. So this is to scoop water. Sometimes they use this uh, to to, uh, for, for eyes. They also have some radiant materials. Okay, this is about the theme of this sculpture. Radiant materials will threaten lives, and we need to protect the earth. So many teams this year put their eyes on environmental protection, and they call for improvement of our eco-protection efforts. This is the fourth time. It's the eighth sculptor championship, and they have come here four times. Are all cities capable of holding such contests? Because uh, we need to use a large amount of ice blocks. Harbin has held eight such ice sculpture championships, and the ice blocks are cut out from Songhua River. Each year, Harbin has ice block collection festivals. Such contests are only available at uh, cities like Harbin, where the environment is very cold. Which team is this? Okay, this is the Indian team. So this is the picture of your sculpture. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay, we can see the names of the participants on this uh, sketch. This looks like a traditional figure. Uh, okay, it's actually not the name of the participants, but the name of the serpent. Serpent stands for crimes and sins, and there is an Indian deity here. Okay, this scene happens in a, a river in India, and the deity is fighting the serpents. Okay, a very classic tale, something very funny here. Okay, this is a plate with a lot of nails. Uh, could you show how to use this? Please, please. Oh, just like this? Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> okay, this nail plate is to, it's used for sanding. Through frictions. Thank you. 
uh, we can make uh, lines on the surface, and this will help with uh, the, the melting of the ice and uh, the adhesion. Okay, we have almost toured around and visited all teams. Let's go back to the Chinese team and find out about uh, the auspicious cloud they were working on. Some teams are eating apples and having hot beverages here. Uh, this team is from Russia. The sculpture is very tall. From Moscow. I'm not sure if it has exceeded uh, the range set for, for the height of sculpture artworks, but the Russian team is very confident that they haven't. In this afternoon and tomorrow morning, the drawers will uh, We'll give marks for all the artworks uh, on their skills and also uh, on some technical details. Hello there, I'm back to examine whether you have finished the piece of auspicious cloud. Almost ready. Okay, we are at the final stage of carving this auspicious cloud. We can see the, the shape of this cloud. Okay, I'll try to clean the slush. So you are refining the shape of this cloud, right? Yes. The chisel. Was used with great skill. I really want to have a try. Uh, is there some ice block that could be practiced on? Can you teach us how to use it? You hold it this way and push forward. Uh, this too is used reversely for detailing. Okay, let me have a try. I use it this way. Yes, okay. Uh, the ice is very brisk. It's easy to carve, but we need to have a very fine grasp of the force we use. I think I'm okay with uh, clean ices, but if I need to detail the shape, then it could be very tough, very hard. Yeah, because if you overcut, then you couldn't uh, fix the problem. It's already very beautiful. Let's show our viewers under the sunlight. This is the auspicious cloud that has been carved from a large ice block within 20 minutes. It needs to be detailed and it, it need to be sanded and brushed. But the shape is already very clear. Later, do you need to fix the auspicious cloud on the upper part of the sculpture? Yes. 
How many years have you uh, been participating in the Ice Assemblage Sculpture Championship? Uh, three years. And what do you think are the differences between Ice Assembly Sculpture and Single Ice Sculpture? For the Single Ice, you can you need to be really skillful at the composition and design. And uh, for ice assemblage, it's very large and uh, has a huge workload. So physically, it's hard. Yeah, indeed, five meters wide and it's so tall. It must be very hard. So first, physically hard, and second, technically, with limited amount of ice blocks, we need to make good use of them and uh, fit the uh, related parts together. If we use too much ice blocks, uh, we'll have some points deducted. We see that you have very cool goggles. Actually, it is for protection, right? Because the eyes will reflect uh, sunlight. And since they work in the environment for a long time, they need to wear such goggles for protection. And actually, when we go skiing, we also need to have such protection. Generally, we have finished uh, uh, the, the big picture, and later we need to fix some small details, such as the girdles and uh, the clouds on the main structure. So today you will work late into the night. <laughs> yes, because tomorrow uh, the competition is to end, and we haven't finished yet. Are you confident about the results? Yes, we are very confident. Thank you, thank you. Just now, we have visited the Chinese team, Mo uh, Mexican team, Mongolian team, Indian team, etc. And they are detailing artworks with different skills and fitting together ice blocks with their exquisite skills. The ice blocks will turn into wonderful artworks. In Harbin, there will be a lot of competitions in the Ice and Snow Festival. I hope you will keep an eye on the festival. Thank you.